ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯೋವಾಪಾಯತನಂ ಆಯತನವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯರ್ಜನ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಆಪೋ ವೈ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಯತನ ಆಯತನವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಯೋಪಾಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನವಾನ್ಭವತಿ so parjanya here means rain so this again let's apply the same principle rain being a source of water water being a source of rain very well understood in the literal mean level it's very easy to understand so rain literally becomes a source for water in the form of water bodies lakes and evaporation of water becomes a source for rain but let us look at a profounder truth so the deeper meaning to this is parjanya is also another name for lord indra so indra being a source for that absolute reality he is the bringer of rain so as we saw one swami quotes that in the vedas quoting swami he says that indra is the aspect of the self which gains mastery over the senses so this is why in the medha suktam we have the verse mayi medha mayi praja mayi indra indriyan dadhatu so indra is related to the mastery over the indriyas senses so and this is why indra bhagavan is sometimes portrayed as a bhogi in the puranas because bhogi meaning one is in uh, dwelling in pleasures always pleasure because this pleasure can be experienced only by the five senses so he is a representation to that and he represents the state of mastery over the senses that is why he is regarded as a king so one who gains mastery over the senses stands like a king like devaraja the indra the parijanya so when the play of creation the play of the five elements that we saw no longer touches anyone so how does indra become a source for water or absolute consciousness when we gain mastery over the senses that paves way towards enlightenment so easily understood